Derek Sloop at the VMware booth, and I'm joined by Jerk Lou. Jerk, how are you? Very good. Great to have you here. Yannick, how are you? Excellent, thank you. So, you guys are experts on Orchestrator. Jerk, you invented it nearly. <laughs> you were a part of the community for a long time. And workflows uh, in Orchestrator are like the hidden ninja in the whole vSphere environment. Uh, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of prepared workflows available. They can be yep. easily integrated into, into uh, the web clients. Yep. Can you tell me a little bit more? Why, why are people, should people use uh, Orchestrator? Yeah, well, first of all, um, every VMware customer obviously has Orchestrator because it comes with vCenter. Um, however, Orchestrator has quite a bit of a learning curve if you get started. So it's not as easy as in PowerCLI where you have your get VM, pipe that forward to a, a get snapshot and then pipe that forward to some out HTML to create an HTML report with a single line. In VCO, um, you have to invest a bit of time to understand how it works with all the parameter binding and so on. So um, that brings a bit of a hurdle for people who are actually just starting with VCO. But after that, um, when you got over that first step and you um, understand how um, orchestrator workflows work in the background with the parameter binding and how you um, actually transmit information from one workflow element to the next workflow element, um, then VCO is a very, very powerful tool. It not only allows you to um, automate your vSphere environment, of course, as you mentioned, it is very tightly integrated with vCenter, so you can automate all the things in vCenter, and for most of the tasks in, v in the VCO library, there are already workflows that you can just reuse as they are, but it also allows you to automate the whole other infrastructure that you have, because it has open APIs and a real bunch of over 30 plugins available that um, allows the workflows to automate different other things in the infrastructure as well. So it's a very, very powerful tool. So what you're saying is that it's free, it comes with vCenter, everyone is installing it when they're choosing for the simple install, so it's already on your systems. Yep. Uh, and you can reuse the existing workflows, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be a programmer from the start. But if you are going to create your own workflows, uh, Janik, you guys created a, a community to help people out with uh, creating content for VCO. Yes, absolutely. Like Jörg said, that um, actually many people are starting with uh, uh, workflows and uh, in the learning curve to really, if they go to the website uh, or web and uh, trying to find uh, some examples, then actually the whole internet is for you, but you don't have single place. So basically we launched uh, flowgraph.com where actually people can uh, go uh, in community, share, take what the others are shared and really use it and start to learn and adopt uh, much uh, faster and better what is done and this is uh, in the single place today available. So, so what you're saying is that Flowgrab is, is a community, it's a website where people can post their workflows, discuss the working, the inner working of the workflows, share JavaScript code? Uh, basically yes, this is the place where they can uh, upload uh, their work, uh, discuss with uh, other community members, uh, share experience, but also do their collaboration and teamwork. Uh, for example, work in the same uh, uh, workflows and uh, projects uh, publicly in flowgraph.com. And by, by the way, this is for free. Okay, so it's a free tool. People can actually work together on workflows, discuss workflows, uh, find all kinds of resources on this website. Yes, absolutely, correct. You were mentioning plugins earlier. There are uh, about 20 to 30 plugins already, and you can use them to register VMs in the CMDB or get an IP address from an external system. If people want to create their own plugins, is there is there uh, some kind of tool available mm -hmm. or or a kit or something? Yeah, even that comes with the VCO appliance. So in the current version, as of uh, VCO 5.5, there is a technically a Maven repository on the VCO appliance that allows you to generate um, archetypes or that has the archetypes that allows you to automatically generate plugins, a skeleton for a plugin with just a Maven command line. So you don't have to start from scratch. You use that um, to create the whole um, Java classes and the body of the, the plugin already. And then um, you have to have some Java development skills so not uh, JavaScript skills like in VCO, but real Java development skills. And um, then you can build your own plugin to have your own types 
in, uh, bring your own types in the, in, to the VCO workflows. You can have your own inventory that reflects obviously the system that you want to integrate. And with the plugin you also can provide your own workflows that makes it easier for the users to yeah, actually use your plugin. So you will get a complete framework and you only have to fill in the blanks and align it to your own solution. Yeah, that's exactly it. And the, the commands you need to get started, they are even uh, documented on the, the splash screen of the VCO appliance. So when you look at your VCO appliance, at the place where you also download the VCO client and uh, start the, the VCO configuration, there is a link that is called um, develop with VCO, with your orchestrator, and that link then explains the getting started with the, the plugin development and use that Maven repository. That's cool, that's cool. About getting started with VCO, there is a, there is a cool community, but you're also running a website. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the URL? Uh, that's www.vcoportal.de. Okay, great, so people can visit your site and also your community. Can you once repeat the URL for us? Yes, uh, flowgrab.com. Many thanks, guys.